The man who tried to raise his son as a native speaker in Klingon. The man is computational linguist Dr. De Armand Spears. Spears is not actually a huge Star Trek fan himself. Indeed, many Klingon language enthusiasts aren't, contrary to popular belief. They tend to be language lovers fascinated by constructed languages, of which Klingon is a relatively thriving one, hence why they gravitate towards it. Spears became fascinated with the Klingon language after reading a flyer on a bulletin board at Georgetown, where Spears was studying linguistics. The flyer was advertising the Klingon Language Institute, KLI, founded by Dr. Lawrence M. Schoen. I thought to myself, a new language. The fact that it was a constructed language really appealed to me. It sounded like fun, said Spears. He soon became one of the more famous members of KLI when he decided to experiment with trying to teach a child to be a native speaker of Klingon, his own son, Alec. Specifically, he stated, I was interested in the question of whether my son, going through his first language acquisition process, would acquire it like any human language. So as not to cause his Alec to have any potential learning disabilities and make sure his son could fully integrate into society without language problems, Spears' wife, who was fully behind Spears' experiment, always spoke English to the child. The reason for concern was that lack of an adequate language for your brain to use before the age of around five can severely stunt a person's mental capacity and causes extremely detrimental learning disabilities in later life, which through history is largely why deaf people were once considered mentally handicapped. Even though with an adequate language taught to them at an early age, like sign language, they are just as smart as anyone else. In any event, unlike his wife, Spears almost exclusively spoke to Alec in Klingon. He even would sing the Klingon Imperial Anthem, May the Empire Endure, as a bedtime lullaby to Alex, which his son picked up and would also sing. The experiment went on for about three years, during which time, as you might imagine, Spears was given a lot of funny looks in public as he'd converse with Alec in Klingon. At first, when people would ask what language he was speaking, Spears would respond, Speaking Klingon. But after getting a lot of dirty looks and comments for this, he switched to just saying, Speaking a constructed language, which generally would forestall potential negative comments. Despite certain people being aghast that a father would do this, thinking it's perhaps detrimental to a child, Spears, being a language expert, had a different view on it. My feeling is that it's good for people in general to know more than one language. You get different viewpoints and perspectives on things, and there is evidence to suggest that kids who are bilingual do better academically, whether their second language is a constructed language or not. Despite the limitation of the language, Spears claimed, I've been able to say almost everything I've needed to say to Alec in Klingon. One of the reasons I find the Klingon language so interesting is that because the vocabulary and grammar is so limited, you really have to think to figure out how you're going to say something. For instance, when I ask him to turn out the lights, I say the Klingon for make it dark. The joy found in the difficulty in saying things in Klingon over English didn't rub off on his son, and Alec more and more resisted speaking Klingon, as Spears anticipated in the beginning. There's going to come a time when he's going to stop making the effort to speak Klingon, because it's far easier for him to speak English. Further, Spears was the only person who would speak this language to Alec, and the boy never saw Star Trek during the experiment, so didn't ever see anyone but his father speaking it. As everyone else spoke English, Alec gradually stopped responding to his father if he spoke Klingon, and around three years old, Spears states, He stopped listening to me when I spoke in Klingon. It was clear to me that he didn't enjoy it, and I didn't want to make it into a problem, so I switched to English. Today, the teenage Alec is no longer fluent in Klingon and reportedly can't even pick out the meaning of individual words of the language, which probably is a fact that helps him with the ladies in high school. Bonus Facts The Klingon language continues to grow, despite the lack of new Star Trek shows or movies featuring it, with new words added each year and generally thought up by Mark Okrand, the person who often mistakenly is said to have first created the Klingon language. In fact, the actor who played Scotty, James Doohan, did that at a very rudimentary level, coming up with the style and the first few words. Okrand took James Doohan's work and made it into a full language, which is why he's generally given the credit for first coming up with it, doing the vast majority of the work to make it into a real language. Bonus Fact 2 It is estimated that approximately 20 to 30 people in the world, including Spears, are fluent speakers of Klingon, with another few thousands that are familiar enough that they can actually pick out words when they hear it spoken. 
So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.